So uh, this is a uh, first initial test of my um, Macopi and MetaQuest body um, hybrid solution for motion capture DIY. You have finger tracking. You have, uh, obviously, your lower body, and I sort of just merge the two skeletons from the separate systems together. Um, and uh, additionally, I have my own little solution for recording. Um, the capture and it's exporting it to uh, BVH. And all I have to do uh, is just snap my fingers, which is why I have these little cylinders here to detect that. Um, once I do that, it will play the video and uh, the video that I use for reference, let's get started. So um, I'm actually gonna kind of start with the A pose. So let me just kind of center up a little bit. Here I am. And so I just ended the capture by snapping again. Um, and uh, as we can see, it's going to be saved as a BDH uh, in my documents and uh, as that file name uh, and it sort of it goes up so if i want to save another one it'll be take two take three and so forth new blender scene it's going to delete everything import uh, and go to bvh go to my takes folder and uh, here we are i can obviously make sure that i have enough uh, play range um, in fact i can check here to see all my keyframes, it's still not enough, so we're gonna... There we go. So, you have about 3,000 frames. Let's just hit play and uh, see what we have. So if I wanted to, um, this data seems pretty good for cleaning. Uh, obviously, we have some jitter when you know our hands are uh, occluded or out of sight with the cameras. Um, but otherwise, generally, this is good enough to sort of use as is um, with some minor adjustments. Um, so Sony Macopi uh, is are these little trackers here. As you can see, I have one on my on my back. Of my head, my hips, um, some of my legs, and uh, here on my ankles as well. Um, so six trackers in total. Uh, there's different configurations you can have for them. I chose one without the hands because that's where I'm getting the uh, hand, hand tracking from, um, from MetaQuest Body API. And uh, it just plugs into your phone. Um, and as far as my phone, I'm using uh, an Android that's connected to USB-C, um, Ethernet sort of cord uh, dongle so it has better connection and uh, that's about it.